Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Reckless Riley, and today we're going to be talking about a topic I have not talked about in a very long time, and that is Halo Forge. Now, I've finally decided to make another map in Halo after not making a lot of maps in Halo 4 for a while, and not even reviewing any maps from Halo 4 for a while, just kind of doing my own thing in other games. And finally, with Master Chief Collection back, I can do that. And so I decided to start off with something that I was very used to, and something that I just... You know, get get me used to the Halo 2 Anniversary Forge. And so what I decided to do is I took one of my favorite maps from Halo 4, Icebreakers, and I remade it inside of Halo 2 Anniversary. And when I made it, I noticed that there was a few differences now. Um, now there's, there is no thruster pack, uh, which created a major difference. But there's also no large shields, but we have more of them. So I was able to use both of those things to kind of balance it out. So what I did was I took, instead of large shields, I used medium ones, and I used those in, to create the entire plane, which are about half the size of the large ones. So you cover up a lot less area with each shield, but the entire area is still covered with the same amount of area in total. So all the shields put together, about the same amount of area. Which means that when you play with people, when you explode the ground underneath you, You'll find that it is less likely to kill you just because it's not covering up such a huge, huge amount of area. And because of that, it really balances out not having the thruster pack. You'll still find that it's not really as mobile as the Halo 4 version, but it's great for doing it with a very f uh, with uh, fewer people. Like if you do like one to four people, it really becomes a really intense match. It's really, really fun to do. I really enjoyed playing a bunch of different one to four people games. But I found that when you played it with like 16 people, it was just way, 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 way too hectic. So I just recommend playing with fewer, fewer numbers, but you can play with up to 16 people if you really want to. Also, what I did was instead of uh, where you go into a room and just watch the entire game, you'll see that you're on a mountain and you're able to actually throw grenades down or fire a plasma pistol at the shields, exploding them, which makes for kind of a very dangerous type of game because there's a lot more people firing at the shields which means that you spend a lot of your time just dodging when you're playing with a 1v1 person because the other people died they're all going to be trying to kill you and so you may not even go against that person you may just be trying to run for your life so it really creates kind of a different kind of dynamic to it and i really enjoy the new version of it anyway guys i really would like to hear your ideas for what you'd like to see in the future um, I am really excited for more Halo Master Chief content. I gotta get time so that I can play more of the game. I'm just like, mm, so busy. So, anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you get to try out the map. And unfortunately, there is no file share browser right now. So, if you want to play it, we're going to have to do like a lobby or something. Um, so, unfortunately, there's no file browser yet. And once there is, I'll link it below. But once that happens, uh, I'll tell you guys. Anyway, I'm Reckless Riley, and I hope to see you guys later.